What's up, YouTubers and dronies? This is Mike for Drones Are Eagles. You know what this is? I got my backpack. Opioid Central here in Philadelphia. Got my metal, my medical bag. They gave out some medical supplies. Let's do it. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I go live and upload new content. So here we go. Enjoy the vlog. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks. Feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight. Never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play. And I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits Well, a lot of you guys been asking, where is Kiki at? What's up with her? I don't, I, I don't know, but here she is, everybody. You know, I just found her here with her boyfriend. Um, first time I met him. What's his name again? Kenny. Kenny. What's up, Kenny? Uh, Mike. They call me Drones Are Eagles. Um, I know your fiance for some time now. Um, but I, I'm glad to see you. Like I said, a lot of people been asking about you. That's always nice to hear. Yeah. Um, I ordered, um, I'm starting to put syringes inside the uh, medical bags now, and I just ordered a box of 100 syringes. Um, I ran out, but I do got one bag left with one syringe in it. So uh, this Saturday, I'll get 100 of them in a box that I just ordered. Um, like I said, some people like it, some people don't, but I have more positive feedback about it. Right. People are saying that I'm, I'm helping people stay on drugs. How am I, I'm not giving drugs away. I'm helping people stay clean from not catching diseases from using dirty or exactly. use, yeah, use syringes, you know? Um, but since I have more positive feedback, I'm gonna start doing it. So, That's let me, let me give you the one I have, and then I'll give you some of the other stuff. Yeah, I definitely need band-aids. There's band-aids inside the, um, That's what I figured. <laughs> there's band-aids inside the, um, yeah, medical bags. The, uh, what I call I call them wound bag, wound wound bags, because that's what they, the stuff that's in there is for. Um, hey guys, I also on my Amazon wish list. I also put some new products that I need. Go check it out. Um, the link will be in the description. Um, I just added five things on there that I desperately need. Man, I really desperately need. Um, so the first five things on my Amazon wish list, go check them out. Help the channel. Help these people out here in the streets because this stuff is what they need the most. 
Um, here's here's the bag I'm talking about. There's a, there's a syringe in here, right here, and and I also ordered some of these little these little rubber bands that go around the arm to help them find a vein. Uh, yeah, I also ordered some of these tape. This little tape right here, I ordered some of these tape, the individual tapes. So go check out my Amazon wish list, guys. Please, instead of sending money, you can order me something. Like I said, the the top five is what I need the most. Uh, there's also a box of syringes in there. I think that's the fifth one, but you'll see it. it's in the description, my Amazon um, link. So please help out for the people out here in Kensington. This is what they need. Uh, they don't need food. They don't need clothes because they can get there anywhere, any church, and they set up here all the time, give out food and clothes. This is the stuff they need right here. This is the stuff they need. Um, and you know, uh, donations and um, but hey, check out my Amazon wish list, please. It's in the description. Um, here you go. Check that out. Here, I'll give you two of these. These are two wound bags. Uh, how about you? You need some? You good? You need some? Here you go. Here, I'll give you two. There's also uh, a prayer card in there. And like always, there's the band-aids. You can use the band-aids for um, stick, uh, tape. Uh, but hopefully somebody orders me the individual tapes. Here you go, buddy. I hope people order me the individual tape so that way you don't have to use band-aids to they don't seal. Stick very well. What's that? They don't stick very nah, well. Nah, I, I thought they wouldn't. Uh, but that's why I ordered the in individual tape and I hope that somebody orders it for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I just spent like, I don't know, $75. I ordered some more stuff uh, because my, my donations, for some reason, they slow down. So I, I sold something of mine and I went out and bought some medical supplies because I, that last five, six times I came out here, I had no more medical supplies. I ran out. Yeah. Yeah, and people stopped sending it to me. So I sold something of mine that I cherish a lot. I, I, I'll get it again one day. And I bought medical supplies and I just got done ordering a uh, hundred needles in a box. Well, it was, like, it was like $17 or something. Like that it wasn't that much. Um, yeah, so. That should be her Saturday. But how, how you been doing? Uh, cold. Definitely been cold. Cold? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it has been cold, but this week is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be real nice this week. We're talking like almost 60 degrees. I think tomorrow's supposed to be 60. Yeah, I was going to say, the cops, when they came to wake us up yesterday, told us Tuesday was going to be uh, 62. Man, I can't It was. They're long. They're lying. Like, eh, eh. No. 60 on Thursday. That's tomorrow. Today's like 53, 52. Tomorrow's 60. I can't believe this. It's February, 60 degrees. I know. Unbelievable, man. When I was a kid, February, it was never over 30 degrees. It was always under 30, man. Right. The whole month of February is always under 30. Right, and I'm used to all winter long. It's snow every other day. Yeah, that's that's the uh, the global warming, man. We're polluting uh, our air with the carbon monoxide, man. That's why we need all electric cars, man. Got to get rid of these cars and make them all electric. Yeah, for real. So you're not staying on, uh, over that place? I don't want to say where you were staying at. Remember under the L uh, where, where we was at? You don't stay there no more? I do. Yeah, every time I, I, I told you, I go by there every single day. I always look at that corner looking for you, and I don't see you there no more. Well, the, like I said, the cops kicked us out at 8 o'clock in the morning. So unless you're there super early or super late. Uh, we usually get there around 9, 10-ish, and then we get to sleep till 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. So, so Kiki, well, what's your plans, man? What, what are you gonna do, Nick? Like, you, you, I know I, I'll keep asking you about this, um, but I remember I'm going back to the first time I spoke to you. Uh, you said when he gets out of jail, he's gonna try to get some help, get some clean. I know I'm not, I'm not trying to pressure you. You do whatever you want. It's your choice. But you, you, not yet. You have no plans. You're just yeah, riding it. We're working on that. You work. There's That's good. A, a, well, I don't really want to say where it is, but no, I don't say where. There's a place we're going. We actually just went there yesterday for him. Right. Um, you can lead on each other's support. Right, exactly. Yeah. That, that's why I wanted to wait for him. Um, some places don't agree with that, that you should do it together. Yeah. yeah, but some couples, it works for some couples. It works for yeah, some. Yeah, I was going to say, because he's usually the, the leader. If it was up to me, I probably would just 
zombie myself around here until whenever, whatever. Right. But he's usually the one that's like, come on, you know, we can't do this forever. <sighs> right, and right, right. And then it gets me thinking, I'm like, you know, you're right. Like, you can't. This sucks. You can't. Yeah, There's you can't. so much better, better out there. You look at all the other people living their life. They're going to the beach and, you know, doing this and doing that. That's what I want to be doing. So that's why I waited for him. And when we went yesterday, they're working on getting us enrolled in, like, a good place to go get methadone. Not just send you to the closest one. They got a bunch of... They work with prevention points. Right, right, right. They got a bunch of different ties to a bunch of different places. Um, They're actually the ones that helped us get all our medical benefits and our food benefits and, you know, all kind of stuff. They're working on trying to get me a birth certificate, so... Yeah, because the the life out here, he see he 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 said it. It's, it's, you can't keep doing this, man. Yeah. Sooner or later, you're gonna get that that bad bag. Mm-hmm. That bad bag, like the, like the bag where they're like, damn man, we ran out of cut. Fuck, I gotta make my money back. What am I gonna do? Hey, I, we can use this rat poison. Fuck it. Or, or this roach powder. Who cares? They don't give a fuck what you what they put in there. As long as they get their money back, exactly. double or triple their money, yep. and, and and hopefully, God forbid, you don't you don't get one of them bags, man. Yeah. Because you're not going to sit here and tell me every time you mix that up, you put a tester on it and make sure it's, it's what you don't, right? Exactly. So you don't know what you're sticking in your veins. You don't know, man. I'm tired of having fucking holes all in my body. He said something yesterday. You know, my hands are really bad right now. And, uh, he said, you know, I put gloves on them when I pan him. Let me see your hands. This one's fine, but... Fine, that doesn't look... Or you, you mean I, the other one's worse? Yeah. I normally get it down so far. Ah, oh, man. Can you put it up a little bit so the camera can see it? Wow, oh, man. You need... Yeah, man. And then I got, you know, one over here, one right here, one right there. Fuck <sighs> My wrist just fucking exploded yesterday. Like, it's terrible. My sleeve's always soaked. Like, I'm just tired of this. I'm gonna turn around because I'll get a better shot with you because of the sun, all right? I'm gonna turn around this way. Is that all right? Yeah. Can you turn around a little bit? The sun will give you some light. I think it's all fucking dark right now. Damn, my ass is getting wet, man. I need something. Uh, no. You got, oh no. I need something to sit on. <laughs> Um, nah, I fuck it. I'll just sit right here. Ah, oh, that's a lot better. Oh, yeah, hell a lot better. Let me say. Oh, yeah, hell a lot better. <sighs> let me see that again now. Uh, here, let me, let me see. <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, you definitely gotta get... I'm uh, so, so... What, like, when's the last time you went to the emergency for, for like, treatments for that? About a year. year. What the hell? How do they treat you over there in the emergency room? Be honest. The food's great. I'm not talking about the food. I'm talking about how they treat you because you're an addict. And you're coming in from wounds that you did yourself. Like, do they, do they down, like, this, like, talk to you like you're trash, like, because they know you're an addict and you're coming in for help. They're like, you do this to yourself. Like, that's how they act. Because I've seen it. Is that how they treat you? Believe it or not, when I went to Penn Hospital, they didn't talk to me like shit. But I feel like, you know, when they went to the other nurses and to the, you know, I kind of saw them looking in there and whispering. They didn't come check on me as often. When it came to pain medication, oh my God. Like, they didn't want to give it. If I told him I was in pain, like, it, it was like pulling teeth trying to get any. They think you're trying to get a free high. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I heard, I heard a lot of bad story about how, how you guys are treated in the emergency room. Right. Like, they got this attitude. They might not say it, right. but like you said, the whispering, mm-hmm. you know what they're saying. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, like it's your choice. You shouldn't yeah. even be here. You should exactly. stay like. I should be dealing with bigger and better shit yeah I, I know that's why I asked you and 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 a lot of people don't like going to the emergency room because of that same here and yeah. pretty much everybody I talked to said they would go in and have their shit taken care of 
if they didn't have to worry about being sick. They do not keep you well in there. They barely give you enough to help with the pain. When I went in there, I had an abscess about this big. I looked like a fucking turkey. I pushed it to the point where it was so bad, like I had to go. Wow. I didn't want to. But I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat, I couldn't swallow, it hurt to breathe, I couldn't get comfortable. Couldn't panhandle because I couldn't lift my neck up to look at the cars. I literally was just stuck like that. Wow. So I finally went in, they had to cut it open. You can still see a little bit of the scar. You should be able to somewhere. Yeah, I see I see something there. Yeah. And uh, they had to sit there and push on it. They gave me Yeah, I bet you that was painful. Yeah. Hey, the, 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 what you call it, the, the, what's that called, that stuff that numbs you up? What's Dovocaine. that called? That don't even work. No. It don't even work. Nope. When I had the thing in my ear that I told you about and in my nose, they, they put uh, Novocaine. That shit didn't work, man. No, fuck no. That shit was the most painful shit I felt in my life, man. No. Painful. And 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 they, and they and they when they're doing it, it's it's not that bad. Yeah, it is bad, man. Yeah. It, oh, it's not that bad. Yes, it is bad. You, how are you gonna tell me it's not that bad? I'm feeling the pain, not you. Right, you ain't the one laying on the table. Yeah, man, that shit hurts, man. I wanted to jump up off there and tell her how bad it hurts. Yeah. Here, you get down here. Let me put fingertips and pressure on you. Yeah. That's what you got telling me. You're gonna feel a little bit of fingertips and pressure. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, I, I caught the mercer in my ear first. Um, from going out and cleaning wounds, man. People warned me, but I thought I was protecting myself with the gloves and the mask and everything. Yeah. Um, and when I called it the second time, I was like, I'm not cleaning wounds no more. I'll make wound bags. I'll make right. bags that you have everything in there for the wounds. You can do it yourself. Exactly. Uh, and ever since I've I made that choice, I haven't caught it again. So, Man, that shit is contagious, man. It really is. My I thought I was had it and almost lost his hand. I thought I was protecting myself, man. Nah, man. I, I, just, I still caught that shit, man. He got his from crabbing. From crabbing? Yep. He, Damn. He wears, you know, the big rubber gloves and yeah. everything. But he was out there one day and a crab happened to poke him. You want a cigarette, man? Yeah. What the hell you doing, man? Here. Yeah. Oh. A crab happened to poke him through his glove, and my dad is like a germaphobe. He washes his hands 24 so He'll wash them until the fucking skin coming off. Right, right, right. And then preach to you about how you need to wash them until the skin coming off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it ain't like he dirty or nothing, but... And as soon as he gets off the boat and comes home, he's in the shower. Right. Takes a shower before bed. Like, he real clean. And uh, that crab poked him through his hand. He immediately, he didn't think it was, you know, he didn't think nothing of it. He came home, washed his hands, ate dinner, went to bed, whatever. Well, by two days later, like, at first it was just, you know, a little tiny poke hole. By two days later, man, his hand was swelled up like a fucking boxing glove. And right. he don't never call out of work or nothing like that, but it was so bad at the point he had to call out of work. He hates hospitals, never usually has to go to one. Cool. He had to go to the hospital. They literally had to do skin grafts on his hand. He had to go back every month for like two or three months and get it, you know, uh, like, how do I want to say this? Yeah. Get it looked at, fix, you know, change the bandages, right, right, right. this, that, the other. And um, even after he had gotten it all done, got the antibiotics and everything like that, he still had to go back, you know, yeah, for like that, that three shit, months after to check on it. Right, right. But it also comes back. Like, if they don't take the sack, there's, there's sack. a sack inside yeah. there. Yeah, they didn't take the sack out of my, 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 my lip, and it came back like a month later. Um, and they, they just gave me antibiotics and sent me home. And I was like, listen, it's just going to keep coming back. You've got to get that sack out. But since I requested them to put me to sleep, they don't want to put me to sleep. So they, 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 they just give me antibiotics and go home. And I keep telling them, this, it's going to keep coming back. Like, What's the problem? Put me the fuck to sleep, man. My medical is paying for it. Right. What's the big deal? You know, they're saying, oh, it's always dangerous to go um, put somebody to sleep to work in the sinus area unless it's life threatening. And I'm like, I thought Mercer was life threatening. I don't know. Yeah, but, uh, for yeah. sure. Yeah, so I, I don't know what's going on. But let me ask you a question. Um, I got a lot of, a lot of um, subscribers. They've been asking about you. Um, you want to let them know that you're okay? Well, here she is. You heard what she said, guys. She said that they're looking into a place 
to get some help. How, how long do you think this is all going to happen? Um, we've been going there for a couple months now, since before he got locked up. Um, but I'm going to be honest, before he got locked up, we were out. No, no, what breaks. matters is now. Yeah, it will matter that. I, I guess I guess we're never gonna do that documentary, man, because you're hard to find, um, and and money money is fucking definitely tight, man. Money is tight as a motherfucker, man. Tell me about it. It yeah, ain't no easier where I pay. Nah, people. man. Yeah, and 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 the, the the when I do have the money, I can't find you. You know what I'm saying? It seems like every time I bump into you, I, I'm broke. You know what I mean? But when I do have money, I'm like, damn, this be perfect time to bump into Kiki. I never bump into you, man. But it's not always that I have money. It's just once in a blue moon. That's why I say this. I don't even think it's gonna happen. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Well, I got um, a phone now, and I try to keep it charged as much as possible. Right. When the cops took all my shit not long ago, I. Your phone. Why they take your shit? Yeah. What's that? What she say? Asked if we were alright. No, we're good. I, I I just gave the medical supplies. Yeah. Um, we were we were sleeping, and they had came and woke us up a couple times before. I guess they were just tired of us. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they literally, it was freezing cold this night. We had just gotten our bag of blankets stolen a couple days before. Right, right. And somebody was nice enough, literally, this day that I'm talking about, well, the night before, technically, gave us a comforter. I was tickled to death, so was he. Mm. Nice big comforter, I mean, something like that. Right, right. But it was white. Let, let me ask you this real quick. Um, so let, let's say let's say you go, you both get clean, right? Mm. Um, what's up with your son? He's in North Carolina. That That's a whole nother ball game. Yeah, because I remember you saying that when I first met you, you said that you're going to get clean and go get your son. That's what I was That's when he was in Delaware, I believe, at the time? Yeah. I think he was in Delaware, you said. Yeah. Now that's, he's in North Carolina? Yeah, that's what I'd like to do, but... It's not going to happen, you don't think? There was a point in time where we had... We were really trying to get our shit together. Yeah, and you're going to have to prove a lot in court, too, man. Well, it's not only that. I, I was more concerned with him and what he wants. Right, right, right. Because he's old enough now to... To where decide, he can make right. decisions yeah, on his own. yeah. And unfortunately, you know, at first he said, yeah, 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 I'd like to come live with y'all. Right, right. And then uh, he, now called, he, got, wait. he called us back about 10 minutes later, I'm assuming, after he talked to, he's staying with, you know, his, his uh, stepdad. Okay. They I'm talked him out of it and, quick. Yeah, he called back. Yeah. He was like, oh, mommy, daddy, I love you guys, and I'd love to come live with you, but... I can't just leave grandpa. Right, right. So yeah, they got I'm to him. Gonna stay here. Yeah. They got to him. Yep. Not, not only that, the older he gets, it's going to be hard because where he lives and the environment he has, he has a lot, a lot of friends. Exactly. That you know was another mean? thing we thought of. Yeah, he has a lot of friends in school. That It's a lot different than when you're five years old and got friends than when you're 12 and 13 years old when you got friends. Exactly. You're, you're more attached. Where yeah. Yeah. He's at. yeah. I don't want to pull him out of his routine. Like, yep uprooting because that happened to me when I had just started high school like I was coming out of middle school just starting high school I was all excited to be with my new friends new school whatever and then I just got uprooted and my whole life got turned upside down yeah had to leave my mom so how old is he now 10 10 yeah he's old enough to, to, to say I want to be here right right yeah and he's old he's enough he's spoiled over there that's another yeah. thing he's got you know his Playstation his Xbox three yep. phones Wow, three phones to a ten-year-old. Hear that shit? He's got a whole YouTube channel following. Wow. And they're like, I can't even do that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Something else. Um. Uh. So that's gonna be. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I can see if he was a year old. But yeah, you, you, I think you're right about that. He's ten years old. Maybe he's better off staying put. Um. Especially the environment and friends he has now, and you know what I mean. Right. Yeah, you, you're. I'm not you're saying it isn't. This this was you know. Or how about how about you move to North Carolina and you can see him anytime you want. Yeah, I was gonna say it, it's a it's a subject that's gonna you know once we get clean we were gonna. Right. You know. That sounds like a great idea. Go to North Carolina. Place. Once you get clean, 
gain some weight, get thick, and um, they see that you change and you, you try to make a ways, they won't have no problem, you, you know, seeing your son here and there. Right. Um, the problem is, is seeing him while you're here and he's down there. That's exactly. the problem. So you will have to get clean and go to North Carolina and get jobs, find a place out there, get settled in, um, you know, and then I think everything will work out that way. Yeah, I was going to say, it's definitely not a topic that can't be revisited because, like right. I said, this was a year or two ago that, you know, we had this conversation with him. Yeah. But, um, yeah, because, I mean, I would love to have him back with me 24-7 like, like he mm -hmm. was. That, mm -hmm. that killed me to have to give him up. The miss most of his childhood, at least when he was in Delaware, we could go see him. There's a lot Whenever of bad. There's wanted. a there's a lot of bad scars right now, like emotional scars. Exactly. For both and, yeah, all yeah, of us. yeah. Uh, and those are wounds that um, it's dangerous if they pop up in the future. Like you know, it's just bad wounds and bad memories. Right. Yeah. Because it, I don't want him to think you know we gave him up. Or right. Didn't want it. That's right. The and last. it's not too late for that. You got plenty of time to get clean. You know, do what you got to do. Get to North Carolina, get jobs, get straight. I mean, like, I, like you know what I mean? You, you, what you should do now is what I did. Um, when I became a grandpa, I was like, you know what? I'm done with this shit, man. I lived my life. I'm never going to be a lawyer. I'm never going to be a doctor. I'm never going to be somebody successful like that. So what I'm going to do now from now on, I'm going to live my life for my grandkids and my children. Right. And for now on, my life is over. That's how I, I, that's how I looked at life after, after I had my grandchildren born and it's been working fine for me I, I stopped a lot, a lot of the bullshit I was doing dumb shit man mm -hmm. but I stopped a lot of it because now I'm living for them exactly. you know what I'm saying that that's how I approach life now everything that I, that I want to do successful I, I think about them my kids and grandkids exactly. um, so maybe you, you if you think like that maybe it'll work for you yeah. live, live through his eyes like live for him you know what I mean? You already did, ran through hell, had all your fun you can have. Like, enough is enough. He said it. Enough is enough. Let's live life for my son now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can try it, but the drugs, you're going to have to do for you, nobody else. Exactly. You know what I mean? You have, you have to stop for you. Um, but listen, you're, you're not worthless. People care about you. I'm serious, man. People out of, out of all the people on my channel you're the one they ask the most for man and if i don't see you for a month they start asking oh, have you seen kiki what's up with her like you know it's amber's a close second you know amber right you heard she got clean yeah boom <laughs> she's um she she gained like 15 20 pounds 15 pounds yeah she got clean um i'm not hoping anything bad but Hopefully she stays that way, yeah. but you know how she's been clean dozens of times and she just relapses And I don't want to jinx her. I hope, I hope right. she stays clean yeah. um, At this point just pray for her. But also, yeah, I do and we also do but at this point it, it, it's like uh, um, Confidence is right. hopeless because she's she been clean so many times and relapsed So all we got to do is sit back pray that she don't relapse Give her all the Yeah, support she, she poor and pray that she don't relapse and just keep telling her you're doing good keep going keep yep. pushing um she got on the boat she set sail you know uh, we were all there you know praying for right now just let her go she's just got to stop everything she's got to stop smoking weed um she's just gonna get away from everything that's all it, it, she's doing good and she can stay clean i um, wouldn't even say smoking weed's bad honestly it yeah, relaxes yeah yeah they tell you in a lot of rehabs yeah. you know, quit the hard time if you it depends on the person too because it could be a red flag it, it could be a trigger i mean yeah. um like just like drinking or it could be a trigger for some yeah people, uh, right 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 um man um yeah, I'm glad you're okay, man. I, I, yeah, I, I was like, I don't know, man. Last time I was with her was under the train down there, you know, on Market Street. And uh, that was that day, you know, I saw you over there. I was trying to make a video with you. Shit didn't work out. But uh, that was the last time I saw you. And I told my viewers when I do it live, you know, that's the last time I saw her. I, and they were like, well, I hope she got into a rehab. I hope she's good. I hope there's nothing wrong with her. Like, you know. Did you check the hospitals? I said, I don't know her first and last names to check hospitals anyway. Uh, but hopefully, I said that she got clean or she's in the rehab or went back to Delaware. That's all I was hoping for. Um, and then boom, 
I see you. I was like, whoa, look at this shit. But um, it, I'm glad that you're alive. You know, nothing happened, bad happened to you. I'm glad you hooked up with him now. You're back together. Now you can do this together. Like what you've been telling me. How long you been telling me this? Now that he's here, he's out. You can do this together. You know what I mean? Do it for yourselves. Do it for you. But you can do it together. Exactly. And some couples it works, some it don't. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I watch uh, Intervention on TV. Yeah. To Intervention. Yeah. I seen couples that won't go to rehab unless they went together. Exactly. And it worked. Yeah. And it worked. Uh, the experts say that it's, that it's no good. Yeah. It's not going to work. But I seen some episodes that it actually worked. And they, you see them a year later, they both gain weight and they're both doing great. Right. I think you know if I mean? you both want it, I think how it, you know, the reason it doesn't work is because one wants it and one is kind of just doing it to be with the other. Right. And then they're going to end up being the person that wants its downfall. Right. Because, yeah. you know, they love each other. They want to do what the other one's doing. If you both want it, like we both want it. Right, right. Motivate the other one, you know. If he starts slipping one day, like, man, I really want to go out and you, I should be the one to tell you, nah, we're doing good. You keep going, you know, look how far we've came, you know, yeah. and vice versa. Right, right, right. I start slipping, he picks me back up. Let me ask you, hold on one second. Let me ask you a question. What do you think about the safe injection house? Oh, I think we had this conversation. I think it's a great idea. Did we have this conversation? Yeah. I think we did. Yeah. Um, Reduce uh, the crime rate Make right. shit a lot safer uh, well, Yeah that, that's, that's what I'm thinking The most important thing that you'll get out of that Two things One, less syringes on the street On the floor yeah. where a kid can pick it up yeah. And accidentally poke themselves uh, Because I'm not going to lie When I was like 3 or 4 years old If I seen that syringe with the orange cap I'd be interested, hey that's bright orange What the hell is this? Oh, yeah. I probably would have picked it up you know what I mean? Would be the same yeah, way. yeah. Kid, that's a bright orange cap, and that attracts little kids yep. three, four years old. Same with blue baggies. Yeah. Man, if I, before I even knew. Yeah, but that's a bright are. orange. See that one? Grab yeah. that. Can you grab that? Oh, yeah. Right there. <laughs> yup, that one. Look how bright that is. But just another thing, like I said, I was 13, 14 and saw fucking blue baggies before uh, I knew what drugs were. And I was picking them up. One, you know, they got yeah. words on them, pretty pictures. And I was collecting them. Um, let me ask you another question. What do you think about, because they do this in Canada, about a, a safe injection house that gives you, you know, needles, but they also give you, instead of methadone, they give you heroin. Yeah, they do shit. I think that's how yeah. it should be. Yeah, they if you're going to have the same injection, you might as well put that along with it. Because then, you know, people aren't having to go out here and get shit that they don't know what it is. Right. Risk getting beat, which is going to bring up the crime but rate. Some but people, some people might say, some people might say that... It's enabling it. Like, they'll never get off drugs if they do that here. They got to want to do that for their self. If they're going to go out and do it anyway, like me and him have had this conversation. If our son came to us and was like, you know, I'm smoking weed. Yeah. I'd rather him do it at the house with me so right, I right. know where he is. I know he's safe. But we're talking about something way more dangerous than weed I here. know. Uh, God yeah. forbid, I can't think about my son doing dope. Yeah. I, I, I don't even want to put yeah. that thought in my head. Uh, but a lot of people, I'm one of them, that say, if we had that in Philadelphia, I don't see nobody getting clean. I wouldn't see it. They already don't have it and look at all the shit going on. I think I, I think the methadone is working. People are stopped doing the fentanyl because they're doing methadone. But having heroin in a syringe waiting for you when you walk into this building, I don't think that's a good idea. I really don't. I, I don't I'm sorry, I don't. The syringe, yes. Nurse the nurse is there on site in case you overdose, yes. But B O, what's that? Uh, B Y O B, bring your own bear. B Y O D, bring your own dope. I think it should be like that. I, I don't think the government should supply you with heroin. I, I really don't. I'm against that. Okay, that's not yeah. a bad idea either. You know, bring your own stuff. They test yeah. it for you. That's what an injection house is a safe injection house where they have nurses. Like, for instance, right? You know there's a safe injection house right there in the corner. You're going to go over there, and you're going to do it, shoot up in front of trained nurses, right? 
and you can sit there and watch TV for 10, 15 minutes. Now, if you go into an abandoned house because you don't want the police to see you, which the police around here don't do shit anyway, but if you go into an abandoned house and do it, you might overdose, nobody's gonna see you. Exactly. You're gonna die. But in the safe house, with nurses there, trained professional staff, they can save you. Exactly. Um, but I don't understand why the community is so against that. So they'd rather you do it on the corner or in a abandoned house or in an alley, throw the needles on the floor where your kids or grandkids might pick it up? You're going to do it anyway. So why not have a safe house where they know you're inside safe with nurses, the needles are not in the street? Like, what's the big deal? Why do, people, why do the community is fussing about it? I don't get exactly. it. Exactly. You're good. You guys are gonna do it anyway. Right, and then you got people trespassing in other people's backyards. Like you said, you got all this trash around that kids could pick up. You know, God forbid one of them touch one of them baggies or yeah. something. Get you know whatever. Yeah. The crime rate, you got that going on too because you know people can't get their fucking shit. So you know they're out here robbing people, stealing. Yeah. That's another thing. You nod out. Motherfuckers around here running your pockets. Let you fucking lay there in OD and die. You got a safe house. So you're good with the safe house. You you all oh, yeah. for it. Yeah, I am too. I'm 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 with the safe house. Not not just keep it just methadone and, and, and um suboxone. Not not no heroin, man. Again, I, I don't go with that. And methadone, it will help with the fentanyl because you gotta think most of these people ain't on heroin anymore. Yeah, it's yeah. Fentanyl. Right, right. That they're on. Mm -hmm. And methadone is great for heroin. Great. Right. Been on it, done it. I speak from experience. Right. But with the fentanyl, you got to be on such a high dose. And most people, before they can get to that high dose, dose, yeah. Because, you know, they I, only up you like I, five, I, 10 milligrams. I know somebody's on 330. Oh my Ain't God. that crazy? Yeah, I've heard up to like 220. But 300. Yeah. When she told me that the highest they'll let you go is 500. Jeez. That is and that she's is on 330. Sad. I was like, what? The highest I've ever been on was 100. Yeah, that's crazy. The yeah. highest I was ever on. I'm, I'm on. I'm on 50 now, you know, and I'm going. I'm. I'm detox. I'm going backwards. Eventually, I'll be off of it. But 330? Yeah, I ain't never heard. And of And she's that. about 100 pounds. I'm like, what Good the God. hell? Yeah, she said I, I said. I said I didn't even know they go that high. She goes up to 500. That's what she said. Jeez. 330. That's crazy. 330. That's insane. Yeah, that's wild. Her fucking dose is 330 milligrams. Wow. I'll drop dead if I did that. Right. Yeah, the highest I was up to 100 and I was fine. Yeah, dude, that's what I like about the method though. Like, it worked for me. It worked for me, you know what I mean? Um, if it worked for me, I'm sure it worked for a lot of people. Yeah. I wasn't doing illegal drugs no more. Certain things worked for certain people. Yeah, I wasn't doing illegal drugs no more and I was safe. You know what I'm saying? And you could detox off of it, you know? Go backwards and slow a little bit, a little bit. 50, 45, 40, and then goes 38, 37, 35. And then again, you could do that with dope too. If yeah, but really it's harder, man. I know, but if you really wanted to uh, get clean, yeah, and but you it, had the nurses at the same, uh, you know, not you only that it's down. Kiki, not only that it's harder, it's cheaper, it's free. You know what right. I'm saying? It's fucking free, man. Right. And, and you're getting, you're getting like every month, you would get like a doctor's visit, they'll check you, make sure everything's going fine. You know what I mean? Like they take care of you, you know Give what I'm saying? services and yeah. stuff, help you find a job. Yeah, they all can, whatever you medical. need, man. You tell your counselor, I need help with it, they'll help you. Exactly. They'll help you. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a great, it's better than being out here in the street. Yeah. That's why I hope, you know, you, you do the right thing because this is, you You not have to fucking tell you. You're not, you're not five and you're not retarded. Um, I hate to use that word, sorry, but um, you're not dumb. Um, you know this doesn't lead to nothing good. Right. You know that. I don't have to tell you that. It just leads to bad things. It, it gets worse. Your life gets worse. It doesn't get better. It gets worse. You know that. My biggest thing is looking at how old I am. Like, I just had a birthday not too long ago. I was like, my God, I'm 28 now. 28. To most people, they're like, oh, you're still a baby. Man, I am tw I am almost 30 years old, and what do I have to show for it? Most of my friends have got a house, they're married, they got kids, they're settled down. It's not too working. late. It's not too late. I'm 50. No, I'm 50 years old. I think to myself, if I keep going the way I'm going. Yeah. And one thing they did tell me, I used to go to Connections down in Delaware, which was basically a, a methadone clinic. Right, right. And... 
my counselor told me, you know, when you're doing drugs, you know, when you get clean, like basically however long you've been doing drugs. Let's say I've been doing drugs for about 10 years now, which is accurate. Uh -huh. I've been doing drugs for 10 years. It takes your body at least double the amount of time after you've gotten clean to bounce back from all the damage that you've done to it. Right. So if you think about that, I've been doing it for about 10 years now. 10 and counting. If I'm 28, it's going to take me till I'm at least 38 years old for my body to bounce back. Now, if I keep going the way I'm going, 38 kind of up there. No, it's Especially not. for your body to bounce back. Yeah, but it's not. You're, you're saying that because you're young. I'm telling you, no, it's not. Harder than when you're younger. Uh, like, if what, I quit now... When I started feeling like, like what you just said, up there, like, damn, I'm old. Like, starting to get arthritis, pain. Yeah. Like, like I'm old. Yeah. It was about 46 years old, 47 years old. Well, like, three years ago. Yeah, I mean, um, I've already got cellulitis in my hands to the point where it hurts so they start cramping up. If I start trying to write something, literally about two minutes in, my hands start hurting so yeah. bad. I've already got a crooked pinky that I can't. Yeah, that's but but that's because you're on drugs and you're out here. You you can slide, you can stop all this. You said you can. I mean, you can do it. Well, once yeah, yeah what once I'm you do that. Is I need to do it like. Soon, yeah, soon. It's gonna be a but lot yeah, harder. but this is a step. You got him with you, and you got him telling you things. So it, it's kind of it's baby steps, but it, it's it's working in your behalf and your favor yeah. because like he's out and he's putting it in your ear, and you're like, you know what? You're fucking right. I know this, but you're you're right. Right. Uh, we got to do this for us, or individual me, um, and just just do it. Just oh man, I I would love to see you, like. 10 years after being clean. It would be great, man. You know what I'm saying? I would love to, I would love to see that. Yeah, that's basically uh, what I'm getting at. I need to do it real soon. Man, if I can get all this shit that I do, like medical supplies, coming out here and risking my life every time I come out here, um, catching MRSA twice, being hospitalized overnight, uh, you know, from being out here doing what I do. Right. If I can change someone's life, if I can make just one person listen to me or you know just get out of the street it, it's all worth it it was all yeah. just one person like you you know what i mean you're doing it on your own i ain't doing shit for you you're doing it by yourself but by me acknowledging you and telling you you're right do it you're right 100 you percent. go and you know what i mean you hear all that thing but when you do it by no means i don't i don't want none of the credit you're doing it all by yourself but my words i know that if you get clean, I'm going to give credit to myself. Like, I had something to do with that, even though you did it by yourself. Yeah. But I know that I had something. Some impact. Yeah. And it, that'll make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, yeah. You know what I mean? She's clean. It's bang. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I hope you do, man. Because you said it for yourself. This ain't your life. This ain't for you. I and do you, want to yeah. take your number. That is one thing. Yeah. I, I, remind me when I shut this off to give yeah. it to you. So I'm um, sure he's getting about anxious. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you need to get off of here. But is there anything you want to say to anybody? Like, I like appreciate that? you guys. Yeah, checking in on me and yeah, they ask. just all the support. Yeah. It really means more than you could ever imagine. Yeah, they they, they care. No, yeah, knowing that somebody cares that yeah, you, you that know, keeps you going. You know how I know I care because they bring you up without me bringing you up. Like I can be talking about. Dunkin Donuts and somebody in the comment would say hey Mike what's up with Kiki you're like you know what I'm saying I'm not talking about you I'm not talking about nobody on the streets of Kensington I'm not talking about I'm just talking about Dunkin Donuts or something where yeah they got the new flair and then I'm looking at the live chat and somebody comes out and says yo whatever happened to that girl Kiki did you like I'm like wow man they, See, they really yeah that they really care there ain't much any more in my life that makes me feel good, but yeah. that makes me feel good. Yeah, they that really, really care. They really fucking do care, man. It's I'm not making this up, man. Complete strangers yeah. care more about you and make you feel so much yeah. more. They so want to see you do good. Yeah, so much more better about yourself yeah. than, you know, people in your life. Yeah. They want to see you good, man. And, uh, and what's sad about it, they're not going to see the results. Because once you get clean, you, you're going to be gone. 
Well, you're going to be gone. Nobody's going to really know unless you get older. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, that's why I want to take your number. Yeah, take my number, but put it somewhere where you don't lose it. I mean, I gave you my number twice before. Well, like I said, I didn't get to finish that story. Long story short, we were sleeping. Cops came. I guess they just got tired of us fucking sleeping there. Snatched our blankets off of us. Wow, they're you know, fucking we dicks, you, we man. We supposed to be sleeping here no more. Literally dicks, took my man. bag, dumped all the shit out of wow. it. Wow. I wish I was there recording that shit. And they're as dicks. soon as they came over and snatched my blanket, oh, you're not supposed to be sleeping here. We got up and we're like trying to get our shit together. Dicks, they man. They snatched my bag. From Look at I, that shit. When I turned around to, um, I turned around to grab dicks, something. Man. My phone charger. They took my bag, dumped it out, and when I went to pick this up, they said, no, leave that there. It's trash. Right. I said, what? I kind of laughed, went to pick it up. He handcuffed me, said I disobeyed a direct police order. Wow. Threw me in the back of the wow. car. Wow. And did the same thing to him because, you know, he thought the same thing. They're you know, bullies, huh? yo. They have nothing better else to do. They're fucking bullies, man. He told them that, you know, he, he, this was right when he got out of jail. He was on Suboxone. He was clean. He was doing great, great. And that was giving me motivation to get right. my shit together because I didn't want to bring him down to right, losing. Because right. right. I wanted to be around him, and that meant more to me than fucking out here right. getting high. Right. And I had told That's myself... That's up the police, man. Yeah. Yeah. I had told myself when he got out that, you know, I was going to fucking do it, and I was ready to do it. He told yeah. him my Suboxone are in that, in, you know, in my possession. <clears throat> Yeah. I need that. My phone, my charger, my EBT card that he had just got. Right, right. They gave him back the phone, but specifically kept the charger, kept his box and kept everything. We literally lost everything that day. Everything. Uh, and got detained for an hour but, and a half. Yeah, but you're going to... What are you going to write it on that box of gum? You don't have nothing better than that? <laughs> the... I was gonna rip it off and put it in my jacket. Well, you can also, you said you have a phone, you can also put it in your phone it's and dead. lock it. It's dead. All right, write it down and then I, I, I'm gonna tell you when I shut this off. You're gonna write it down, then when you get your thing charged up. I was gonna text you. Yeah, text me and make sure you put it in your phone. So that you got mine off. All right, so um, I'm gonna shut this off. I gotta fly my drone so that I bring some footage to these guys, but here you go, everybody. She's fine. So. I'm going to set up my drone and then we'll give you some footage of the drone. And so I'm still going to ride around in Kennington and bring you some footage of the streets too. So you want to say bye? Bye, everybody. Thank <laughs> you. I'll see you soon. Yep. You hear that, guys? All right, guys. I'll be right back. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed, think you're something. Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really notice what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed.